It makes it very difficult to be mobile. It makes it very difficult to sleep. It makes it difficult to eat because it affects you internally. It makes kind of every part of your life difficult. EB is a genetic skin disorder, uh, a very rare genetic skin disorder. There's only 5,000 cases in the UK. It's basically, put it in layman's terms, the top layer of skin, the epidermis, doesn't adhere to the dermis. In the milder form, it can be localised blistering, and in the severe form, it can be extensive blistering all over the body. They have extensive wounds which require dressings. We got involved in the study through our contact with the specialist nurses for people with epidermolysis bullosa. One day we just decided we had to join forces. We held some workshops and we asked the patients the question, what would make a difference? And they said, uh, give us an alternative to the bandages. Web stands for wound care and EB. Thankfully, the team that's worked on the web haven't forgotten that comfort is a major issue and they've developed garments that are, I think, ideal for people with EB. We put a team together which included a designer from the College of Fashion and we found this company um, that had computerised uh, knitting technology and could react very quickly to specifications and changes and modifications. They've been incredibly generous in terms of joining us in a partnership to perfect the products uh, to meet the patient needs. I was involved with, at the development stage uh, with Patricia Grocott and the people at King's and the design team at Skinny's as well. And that's the good thing about it. They have been designed for and by people with EB. The garments are thin, very thin. They're breathable. They're very elastic. They're basically like a kind of second skin over the dressings. So garments make the whole process a lot more comfortable and a lot less time consuming as well. We want to blend in. We don't want to stand out from the crowd and we want to be comfortable. The research at King's has had a huge impact on the lives of a lot of our patients. They've talked about the fact that their dressings are held in place in a stable position so that they're not getting the friction that triggers off the blister that gives them the wound. Um, and some of them have said you know, they've had wounds in the same places for 20 years and you know, th those, that skin is now healed. The quality of life of people with EB is much improved when they use the web garments. People have been saying to them, we're going to find a cure, we're going to find a cure. And that hasn't happened up until now. This is something that has worked for them. It's been really rewarding to hear that we've made I, a much more profound effect um, on day-to-day -day lives of the people who are using the garments than, than certainly I expected. I, I wouldn't even like to guess how many people the EB has helped, me included. Uh, so I'm kind of honoured to be a part of that. Patricia's work is really at the cutting edge of what we do here at King's College London. We really are focused on making sure that the research that we do really has an impact on patient care as quickly as possible. It's really exciting, we're absolutely at the centre, we're the leaders of what's going on and anybody who's interested in nursing and midwifery, this is the place where you'll be able to make a real difference. <laughs>